Ipswich Town and Sheffield Wednesday are your leaders at the moment over in League One. Of course, both of them teams are there sitting pretty with seven points out of a possible nine. But what's going to happen this midweek as the games come thick and fast? We're going to get into it and we're going to catch you next. That's right, folks. Welcome to another prediction video. Today, we're taking a look at match number four in this year's League One, and we'll get to that in just one second. If you know where you've been, smash your subscribe button, bang out there. All things League One related, Blackburn Rovers related, World Cup related, boys and girls, we're all here under one roof. Of course, breathing down, of course, Ipswich and Sheffield Wednesday's next are the likes of Bristol Rovers, Peterborough, and Plymouth, who've actually started off the season in pretty fantastic form, but who, of course, will take advantage in the double match week. That's right. And of course, we've got the first match matches coming at you in just a second. A big shout out to the VIPs. They are, of course, the patrons, of course. But anyway, Let's bring you bang up today with, of course, the weekend's action, and then we'll take a little look at the state of the prediction league. So here we go. We're talking about this. That's right. Here's the games that did take place this past weekend, and we'll take you all the way through them. My picks are on the left, the real deals on the right. Uh, but anyway, let's get into it and have a little look. Then shall we? Let's kick it all off with Bristol Rovers against Oxford. Big win for Bristol Rovers here. A uh, one-nil win in the end. Two-one win for me. Not too shabby. All the gay, all the goals though were actually Stanley eight in total. Four-four in the end. I want the one-nil win for Stanley. <laughs> Complete opposite to what I thought. Cambridge uh, two-nil win for Exeter. I went with a 2 0 win. It was a 2 1 win, so surprise, surprise. Exeter have been uh, 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 in the spotlight for the amount of goals they've scored, but uh, unfortunately, they were on the receiving end of a defeat. Uh, Portsmouth did beat uh, Cheltenham 2 0 out of the 2 1 win myself. Derby did beat Barnsley 2 1 out of the 2 0 win myself. I'm looking pretty good here, boys. I mean, Morecambe uh, against Fleetwood was a draw, 1 1 in the end. Ipswich did beat MK Dons. I went with a 2 0. It was a 3 0 in the end. The Vegans uh, drew against Lincoln City. I went with them on the road here. Plymouth 2 0 win over Peterborough was my shout 2 0 win. It was. So happy days, Dirky Poo. Bolton uh, did a draw with Port Vale on the road. 2-1 win for me, it was. Sheffield Wednesday uh, went with the win. It went with a 3-0 win. It was a 1-0 win. Uh, ain't too shabby. And I went with Wickham, but unfortunately they lost to Shrewsbury. Let me add up my points here. I want to see how did I did, how good I did. 1-2 against you guys. 1-2, uh, 3 there. 4, 4, 5, 6, 7. I've got 7. 7 is the magic number, boys. 7 is the magic number. Remember that number. We'll take a look at your picks in a second. This is what the table looks like right here. Right, 7 is, of course, the magic number up there with uh, Ipswich and Sheffield Wednesday. They're on 7 points, just like me. 7 points for this past week. We'll have a look at it in a minute. And, and the money, and the, and the moment, MK Dons are in a bit of, bit of trouble down there. Uh, alongside Chetler, alongside Burton, alongside Morecambe. If it was to end today, they would be going down. Uh, surprises of the season so far. Look at, uh, look at Exeter doing good. The Vegans also smashing it. But Plymouth for me, uh, right up there in fifth spot. But let's take a look at how you guys did. Seven is a magic number. Of course, look at that. Reflex Swift's in there with eight points, of course. Now, a bit of admin for you guys. Make sure you come at you with these predictions with the same name you did the last weeks and the week before and the week before and the week before. Keep it simple. Keep it as is. Don't go adding extra or changing the capitals on stuff. It just adds a couple of extra minutes, uh, the precious minutes, because if you're, not know, if you're not familiar with the channel, the amount of videos I churn out a week is insane. And I have to do that alongside our actual working life and actually a married life, family life. So it's a lot of time going into these videos and just those little, just little, little, little nigglers. Like, uh, and, and I, I think I did clean this up for this one will just add a bit of frustration for me when I'm doing these. That's why I like the Super Brews, because that's a piece of piss. Uh, this is a lot of extra stuff. But anyway, I appreciate you guys getting your predictions in. And this is the results of this past weekend. But the overall matches, of course, we might even see some some hangovers here from the, 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 the cleanup. But Reflex Swift is up there with 18 points. This is a Sheriff Tiraspol fan. He's also up there with 18 points. And then Blue Jack Plays is up there with, uh, of course, 17. And then the Chasing Pack. It is early days. You might, I'm just trying to see if there's an example in here of somebody who who may have double double bubbled himself with with his botched up name, but I think I cleaned it all up. But try and keep it clean, keep it simple for me, because uh, then it makes it a lot speedier. Then I can get the videos out there for your leisure. But anyway, that's that. Be sure to get your predictions in using the link here, Cutting Forces League One. It is free. Uh, get your name in lights. And there is potential to win prizes. And I'm not forgetting about giving out the prizes. We're just going to wait a week or two before we do just that. Now, these are the games coming at you then, shall we, for match day number four. And we're going to jump in the deep end, of course, and uh, inspect each and every one of these as, uh, of course, we look forward to. I think they're all actually how can take place on the Tuesday, the 16th of August. So jump in the deep end with the top by the shop there, which is Bolton, which is Morecambre. It is at uh, the Reebok Stadium or whatever they call it these days. Uh, of course, Bolton uh, coming at you, of course, 
played each other seven times, these two sides. Uh, of course, uh, uh, two wins for Bolton, one for Morecambe, and four draws. Bolton are coming to this unbeaten in the last five, 58% form for them. Moving forward, up against the Morecambe side, just one win at the last six. In fact, just one defeat also at the last six, 50% form for them. Moving forward as well, they're the draw specialist, drawing four of the last six games. Meanwhile, last round, they did, did in fact draw against Bolton at Bolton in March 2022. That was in League One, that was last season as well. In fact, uh, four of the last five have ended up as draws, um, of course, including friendlies as well. So, but Bolton have the upper hand, winning. Uh, they're unbeaten against Morgan with the last fight, including friendlies. Port no coming on the way that new draw against Port Vale. Morgan with a one draw against Fleetwood. Uh, back to back games now without a loss, though, for Morgan, including result against Stoke. Surprise, surprise. Look at the odds for this one, then, shall we? We have Bolton uh, 2 to 1 on for the 60 to 5 ish draw. 11 to 2 is your Morgan here. 2 to win for me for Bolton on this one. I think they're just going to be too powerful for Morgan, especially at home. Moving for Burton Albion, of course, scoring all goals against, uh, I guess, Action Stanley. Taking on Ipswich this weekend. Uh, uh, Jimmy Floyd against Kieran McKenna, uh, of course, in the dugout. So 11 times they've played just 2007 9 was Ipswich 1 for Burton and 1 draw uh, 8% form for Burton right now absolutely shocking form then 1 the last 7 I guess Ipswich Town so I just want to feet past 6 6% form for them moving forward as well last time around though, at Burton was a 2-1 win for Burton that was at the Pirelli that was on the 14th of August 2021 uh, meanwhile of course Ipswich coming to us on the back of the 3-0 win over MK Dons uh, but Burton um Smashing four past action, but also conceding four in a very, very leaky defence. Uh, 10 to 3 is your Burton, 5 to 2 is yours, 2017 on it is your Ipswich. Can Burton take any uh, sort of positivities from the game against uh, uh, Accurate Stanley into this one? I don't think so. 2 0 for Ipswich, I think it'd be too good, especially where they are in the moment at the table. Charlton up against Exeter City, uh, sorry, Charlton up against Plymouth Argyle, sorry, I, I read uh, my blurred lines there. Of course, uh, Charlton coming to this on the back of 50%, 4 1 2 lost to Android over the last six, just one defeat the past four for them up against the Plymouth side, of course. 1 3 and lost three of the last six. They have two, these two sides have played each other 15 times since 2007. Eight wins for Charlton, four wins for Plymouth, and three draws, of course. Uh, last time they played each other over in at Charlton at the Valley, it was a 2 0 win for Charlton back in November 2021. Charlton have just lost once against Plymouth over the last six. That was the last round, of course, back in December 2021 in Plymouth. Uh, of course, Plymouth picked up a 2 0 win of a Peter, a big result that was. And Charlton with a 1 0 loss against Sheffield Wednesday, one of the, the table toppers at the moment. I look at the odds here 6 5 is your Charlton, 12 5 is your George, 11 5 is your away win. That's, of course, Plymouth Argar. 2 1 win for me for Charlton on this one to take it to the mixer. That's right, Exeter City up against Wickham, of course, coming at you this coming Wochenende. Play each other uh, 20 times to 2008. Five wins to Exeter, nine wins to Wickham, and six draws. Exeter just one defeat past four for them, 50% form. That's one, two, lost two, and draw two over the last six. Wickham, of course, winning two and losing two over the last four, 33% over the last six. Last round, though, in Wickham. Sorry, uh, last round in Exeter. Uh, goodness gracious me. In the league, it was a 1-1 draw back in February 2018. That was in League 2. Uh, goodness gracious. Of course, Exeter with a 2-1 loss against Cambridge. Uh, meanwhile, Shrewsbury did beat Wickham. Wickham 2-1 at Wickham uh, back on the 13th of August. That's right. Moving forward onto the odds here. We have 60 to 10 issue Exeter. 31 to 20 issue Wickham. 12 to 5 issue draw. I think a backs in Exeter here with a 2 to win for them. They've got goals in them. They've got the tails up a little bit. And Wickham are on a bit of a slump at the moment. We have Barnsley locking horns up against Bristol Rovers. That's right. Coming at you at Oakwell. Play each other uh, two times. Since 2018. One win apiece. Uh, of course, Barnsley though. 58% form. Winning three and drawing, uh, losing two over the last five games. Bristol Rovers are winning three and losing three over the last six. 50% form for them. Last round though, of course, at Oakwell was a one win for Barnsley back in October 2018. Uh, Bristol Rovers with a one win over Oxford. Big result for them. Uh, Barnsley with a 2-1 loss against Derby County. High-flying Derby County at the moment. Uh, looking at the odds for this one then. Barnsley 2017 on. They are favoured to win this game. 5-2 to is drawn. 60-5 is your away win. That is Bristol Rovers. Going to go with a draw myself. I can't separate these two sides at the moment. I'm going 1-1 right down the middle at Oakville. Fleetwood Town up against Cheltenham. That's right. Uh, Scotty Brown, boys, up against Elliot Wade. Oh, sorry, Wade Elliot. Uh, <laughs> got his name muddled up there. Played to the six times 2012. Two wins apiece and two draws, of course. Fleetwood done beating the last three now, 42% form up against the Chatham side, who've just lost once, sorry, I've just won once at the last uh, six games, 17% form for them moving forward. Last time around, Athlete was a 3-2 win for Fleetwood back in August 2021. Uh, of course, Fleetwood picking up a draw against Morecambe. Of course, Portsmouth did beat Cheltenham uh, last time around, 2-0 loss back-to-back. -back. In fact, three goalless affairs for Cheltenham, and they have actually conceded 10 goals in the last three games combined. They do, they do need a result, and they do need a result fast. Fleetwood, of course, 5-4 of the 20-10 is your Cheltenham, 12-5 is your draw. It just goes to show uh, what Duffy's boys were like uh, with him at the helm now under new management of Wade, well, Elliot Aid, Elliot Wade, 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 whatever his name is. Uh, they look shit right now and they could be in trouble. Going over the one away for Fleetwood will be enough for them. They'll take their three points. They'll be happy with it. Cheltenham are in trouble. Fleetwood, uh, Forest Green Rovers is the vegans up against Accrington Stanley, of course, coming at you as well this midweek. Eight times they play just 2003. Two wins for Forest Green, four for Accrington, two draws. Just one defeat in the past six games for Forest Green right now. Six times in form up against Accrington Stanley side. Just one defeat in the past six for them. 58% form for them moving forward. Last round though, it was a a uh, one-year win for Acton. That was back in September 2017. That was in League 2. Of course, that's League 2 to you and me. I don't know what that is. Hang on a minute. 
The last uh, pleasure that over in uh, Forest Green, it was a 1-0 uh, win for Accrington Stanley. back in September 2017 in League 2. Uh, of course, uh, Stanley coming to this on the way that 4-4 draw against Burton. Of course, uh, Forest Green was with a 1-1 draw against Lincoln City. That's right. Uh, on the road as well. Look at the odds here. We have 13-10 as your host. 1-5 is draw. 2-1 is your way win. That's Accrington Stanley. Going to go with a 2-1 win for Forest Green Rovers. Of course, they got the tails up at home. And of course, uh, they, they're starting to build something there. And I think they could be contenders for maybe even playoffs at this early stage. MK Dons are in trouble, though. They are bottom. Taking on Port Vale. Vale okay start to the season. Uh, they finished the 14 times. Four, four wins for MK Dons. Five wins for Port Vale and five draws. Just one and four, though, for MK Dons right now. 42% form over the last six. Port Vale, though, of course, three games. So that's a win. 58% form for them. Moving forward. Last time I know over in the stadium, MK, it was a 1-1 one, one draw. That was back in oh, April 2019 in League 2. In fact, the home side hasn't won this game since MK Dons beat Port Vale back in 2014. Goodness gracious me. It's been a long time, folks. MK Dons pick up a 3 0 loss against Ipswich. Uh, of course, Port Vale with a 0 draw against Bolton. Last time on the odds for this one, though, MK Dons 65 on is your victory for the home. 13 to 5 is your 60 to 5 is your portfolio. MK has got to win sometime. I'm going to go with the one they win for them. Just a little bit. Get over the line, get the three points, and maybe kickstart their season. Oxford United up against Lincoln City at the Kazam. That's why I played you the 16 times 2002. Eight wins for Oxford, seven wins for Lincoln, and one draw at the moment. Of course, Oxford, though, 1 2, lost two over the last four. 42% form over the last six. Lincoln, though, unbeaten in the last four, however, drawing four of the last six games. 50% form for them moving forward. Last round, though, in the Kazam, it was a 3 1 win for Oxford. That was back in the August the 28th. My birthday, that's right, of course, uh, way back when. In fact, the Oasis hasn't won since Oxford beat Lincoln in Lincoln back in September 2019. Oxford with a 1-0 loss against Bristol Rovers. Lincoln with a draw against the Vegans last time round. Coming at you though here, 43 on is your Oxford, 30-5 is your 54 is of course your Lincoln City. Uh, back in of course the Kazan boys, that is Oxford 2 win for them to take it to the house. Peterborough up against Sheffield Wednesday, probably the game of the, the, the day out in League 1. Play each other 10 times to turn 3, 3 wins for Peterborough, 5 wins for Sheffield Wednesday, 2 draws of course. Peterborough though just 1 defeat the past 5 for them, 67% form for them. Up against the Wednesday side, unbeaten the last 4, pick up 3 wins on the bounce. Goodness gracious me. Uh, last time on the over at Peterborough, it was a one-day win for the Posh. That was back in April 2013. It's been a while, guys. Uh, goodness gracious me, one win it was for Peterborough. Uh, Peterborough, though, coming to this on the back of that two loss to Plymouth. Uh, Sheffield Wednesday with, of course, back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back clean sheets. Three clean sheets on the spin, uh, scoring four goals without any conceded. Look very, really good at the moment. Organised is the word. 29 to 20. It's your Posh, 25 short. 9 to 5 is your Sheffield Wednesday here. 2-1 win for me for Wednesday here. I might even say 2-0, but then the clean sheet. So, boot. Pompey up against Cambridge, of course. At Fran Park as well, same day as the others, of course. Place of the nine times 2014, six wins for Posh, two wins for Cambridge, and one draw. Just one defeat past six games for Pompey right now. They look okay, don't they? 58% form. Up against Cambridge side, who's lost us once in the last four games. 58% form for them moving forward. Last time on, though, over in uh, Pompey, it was a 2-1 win for Cambridge. Cambridge actually unbeaten against uh, Portsmouth over the last three. A couple of wins and a draw to boot. Pompey with a big tune of a Cheltenham back to back clean sheets. In fact, three clean sheets on the spin again for uh, Pompey, uh, including a win over Cardiff in the Canada Cup. Cambridge with a big two one win over Exeter, and that was, of course, last time around at home. Uh, let's take a look at the odds here. We have Pompey coming at you at 11 8 on for the actually 11 4 sure. 7 2 is, of course, your Cambridge here. 3 1 win for me for Portsmouth to take to the house and again keep the dream alive. And then wrap it up, wrap it up. It's Shrewsbury, it is Derby, it is, of course, uh, coming at you on the same day as well. Played each other just the one time since 2011. It was a, a win for Shrewsbury. We'll look at that in a minute. 50 percent for Shrewsbury right now. 1 2 lost to Andrew 2 over the last six. Just one defeat of the past five games for Shrewsbury. They might be onto something here. I guess the Derby Cats side just one defeat the past four for them. 50% form for them also moving forward. Last time around, though, over, it was in the Calabetta Cup. It was a 3 2 win for Shrewsbury back in August 2011. Shrewsbury picked back to back wins for them, beating Carlisle, beating Wickham on the road. Derby, of course, back to back wins for themselves. Of course, beating Mansfield, beating Barnsley as well, respectively, as they move forward to this game. 11 5 is your Shrewsbury, 12 5 is your 6 5 is your way win. That's Derby County. 1 0 win for me for Derby County on the bloody road. And that, my friends, is what I've got for you. Be sure to get your own picks as well. I'll get to that in a minute. But if I'm right, which I bloody well hope so, this is what the table will look like, as you can see down there. It's which, of course, are outright leaders alongside Sheffield Wednesday with Derby uh, making some ground as well. Uh, Bolton, of course, up into fourth. Uh, Plymouth, uh, Port, sorry, Portsmouth in fifth. And Exeter into sixth at the moment in a very, very spicy looking League One campaign. Cheltenham, Burton, Morecambe and MK Don still in trouble down the foot. Wickham also need to get their act together very, very soon. Again, it's a double match week, so we'll be back around about Wednesday for match day number uh, five, I think, over in League One. So make sure to get involved with that. And if you do want to get involved, all you've got to do is use this link here, cut the force just League One, get your name in lights, of course, next uh, in midweek. It could actually be a good week for you to join if you haven't joined so far. It's free to enter, remember, and then you can get your name in lights by the end of the week. But that, my friends, is all I've got for you. Make sure you smash your subscribe, smash your subscribe, check out the links down below, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and all that kind of stuff. Get involved with the Discord. It's wide open, it's free, and all that kind of stuff. Hang out with the boys. But until then, guys and girls, we are done.